Uh, so we're seeing positivity coming through in the Nigerian market. Does this finally mean that we could see a bit of rotation out of the fixed income and bond space and into the equity market? Yes, uh, basically it's about the positive results that have come uh, out of the banking sector. We are seeing banks declare their first quarter results. Uh, some banks that made losses also have turned out positive in the first quarter and it's just a sign of things to come really because we've seen stability in NPR, that's the interest rate in this country and we've seen a lot of FDIs come in with funds and the, the Naira to the dollar is also very stable. Um, the equity market, apart from the banking stocks also, we've seen very good performance from Total, from Dangote Cement, Nigerian Bureau and other stocks too. Uh, we would expect this to go into the next week, basically, this positive um, outturn on the, of the index, basically, because people are taking positions, I mean, forecasting into the year what uh, would happen, basically. I mean, it's, it's a sign that banks will turn out very positively by the end of the year. Really. Okay. So, but Bankale, if we could just now delve into the fixed income space, uh, yields trending uh, in the secondary market, we started to see a continued drop coming through. Uh, quite a bit of demand that is coming to the fore, and I, the first question was, are we finally starting to see a rotation out of the fixed income space into equity markets? It seems that demand pretty much intact for bonds. Yes, on the teal bill end, the short end um, of the market, uh, we've seen a lot of demand. I mean, this has been there before. It's been, I mean, I'll call it constant demand or consistent consistency of inflows of money to the country. And then even on the local uh, scene, we're seeing a lot of um, PFAs, individuals and other corporates keeping their money, uh, I mean, pending other uh, investments they'd like to make into the year. So people, I mean, we've seen a reduction in deposits uh, in ba I mean, all banks and people are investing more in T-bills. But that's for T-bills alone. In the bonds market, since the release of a calendar that shows how much government will borrow for this quarter, that is April, May and June, uh, the proposed amount to be borrowed has been increased from the average of $55 billion that they did in March to about 90 billion. I mean, it's a sign that if you go long on some positions, there could be issues as in if yields turn out to be high, you could be caught on the wrong end of the market. So really, as I speak with you, the bonds market has been slow on activity as uh, most counterparties are waiting for Wednesday's auction to see where these yields are. So whatever happens on Wednesday's bond auction is uh, where prices will pick up from on Thursday morning. Yeah. Uh, 2014 bonds maturity, 20 billion of that will be issued, and then 35 billion each of the 2017 and then 2022 maturities. These are five years and 10 year bond maturities. It's well spread across the tenure of our bonds, FGN bonds. Uh, Bankala, I mean, there's various new bonds that will be uh, coming to the fore. Of course, we heard the, the announcement this week. The interesting play here is the seven year paper because that's never come to the fore before. Um, are you interested in that kind of uh, maturity? Sorry, come, come, come again, the, please. The seven-year paper, would you be interested in that maturity? That is obviously a new paper that's going to be brought on, online. Yes, yes, yes. We've had, we had a lot, we had tremendous demand for the 10 years. And so we've seen a slowdown on that, on the 10-year bond maturities that were trading in the secondary market. We've seen that our PFAs are not are keen to go to this auction to pick up a lot of these five years uh, bonds. It's 2017 maturity, I mean, from 2012, that makes it five years. It's going to be new and we expect it stops between 15 and 16%. Uh, of course, the yield or the coupon on that bond may not be up to 163 uh, nine, like the 10-year 2022 maturity, but uh, the 10-year uh, 2022 is already at 15.4 levels, you know. So if you can get a five-year bond maturity at this auction, I mean, yeah. it's a good deal. Getting a five-year bond maturity at the yield of the 10 years that were that was trading since January. Uh, Bancolo, what's also quite good is that we've seen a lot of the oil majors in the markets and that uh, perhaps propelling uh, to the upside the Naira. We've got a very st stable local currency. Uh, is this expected to uh, continue into the next couple of weeks? Yes, there are two major factors affecting the Naira positively. Uh, the country itself is earning a lot. The federal government reserve is um, inching up on a daily basis. And then most uh, companies who earn foreign currency are not holding their currencies against the Naira. They are selling down on a weekly basis. Uh, NMPC itself, so 
over 400 million dollars i mean of their takings to uh, either um, pay government obligations and uh, do their normal monthly rounds basically uh, this is going to continue for a while we won't be able to say to what extent the naira is going to revalue to but we've seen that even the government has dropped the volume they sold at the last WDAS auction. They, 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 they sell 300 million weekly, but we've seen 270. Going into next week, you may see the government sell just 250 uh, million dollars, and this meets the demand. And in fact, if com customers come into the interbank market, which is almost parallel to the government rates. So basically, the Naira will be steady, and then possibility of revaluation going into next month. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Bankole. Great to have you on the program.